Hey guys, Deronda here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this apple cinnamon Dutch baby. Perfect for breakfast, brunch, or just a lovely snack throughout the day. The ingredient you're gonna need is a large apple. I'm using a Honeycrisp, but if you'd like to use a Granny Smith or a Gala, you'd be my guest. One half cup of fat-free milk or low-fat milk. One half cup of all-purpose flour. Three tablespoons of butter. It can be salted or unsalted. One half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One fourth teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. Two eggs at room temperature. First, we're gonna take the flour, the salt, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg in a small mixing bowl with a whisk. We're gonna whisk these four ingredients around till they're well blended. And then we can set this off to the side. In a larger bowl, add your half cup of fat-free milk. Make sure you use fat-free or low fat. This will really make the Dutch baby puff. You're gonna add both eggs. Break the yolks and give this a lovely little whisking until they're well blended. And that looks perfect. Now we can set this off to the side to peel the apple, and I'll put my sugar off there to the side. I'm gonna use a paring knife. Be careful when working with a knife. And we're just gonna go between the peel and the apple itself until we get all the way to the end. Once we get to the end, set that peel off to the side and put your apple in half, fly it flat side down, and we're going to remove the center. I just like removing the ends, and usually the core will just pop out. Do the same with all four quarters. Next, we're gonna cut them in a fourth inch slices. We're gonna add them over here into a bowl and toss them with that tablespoon of granulated sugar. Whoops. And just get in there with your hands, toss them around until that sugar is well coated on each slice and you don't have any sugar left there in the bottom. With one tablespoon of our butter and sugar coated apples over here to the stove top, I've had my 10 inch iron skillet over medium heat. I'm going to melt a tablespoon of that butter and we're gonna add the apples. And we're gonna saute these for about five minutes. So use your timer and stir occasionally. Meanwhile, we're coming back with our egg and no fat or low fat milk mixture with our flour and spices along with that two tablespoons of butter that I had melted. Whisk until well blended. We can sit this off to the side, back over here to the stove top. Our apples have been cooking for five minutes. This is just the way we want them. We're going to take them out of the frying pan. Okay, five minutes are up. Turn off my heat. I've got my oven preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just going to wipe out that skillet, add an additional tablespoon of butter, get it around the edges, get it here in the center. Let's make sure we get it completely melted. We're going to add our batter. Get it all out of your bowl. Add your fried apples here on the top. I like using a fork and strategically placing them evenly on top of our apple cinnamon Dutch baby. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Now, some of you may have had this at the Denny's restaurant or IHOP restaurant, very popular in those two food chains. This is off to that 450 degree preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 20 minutes. Use your timer and no peeking. Here's our apple cinnamon Dutch baby. And as you can see, it really puffed up along the side, but as it cools down, it's going to deflate. That is just the nature of your Dutch baby here. We'll give it about two minutes before we remove it from its skillet. I've been adding just a little bit of powdered sugar here to the top. Pop it out. Ooh, 
Ooh, it should come out. Look how beautiful that is. And look how golden that is around the edge. Oh yeah, gonna be fabulous. You can just either tear it apart like this. Look how crunchy that is. Mmm, 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 mmm. My whole house smells like cinnamon and nutmeg. Mmm, those apples. Wow. Serve it with your favorite syrup. I'm gonna let you eat it the way you'll enjoy it. That's fantastic. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me 